ตาญอมสอเลนะลองลันจอยอยู่ดูตาอาลอมรัมบานี่เดคาซงคงดูชูปานอยู่เจเปรัมบาเจรัมตังตะเนจอรัมซัลมอนี่ซงยอเดเน
what is called the closed chant. And one during the closed chant or Gokpe Depa in Tibetan, one visualizes uh, at the heart center the seed syllable and concentrates one's um, attention and visualization there uh, without chanting. เออเดี๋ยวนี้ตรอดเดบาสนะดังนะสอนงาร้องซอจีนี่ตาวยานอมมาเนเป็นแม่ฮงเต็มหวานแดงกันตัวเจจีโรมากับซอนอมตาเร
ชิปะระตอยงอารอนซงเกเลเจลงสะตาตังอารอนอุกจวะระเซเปเกลงจิงตัวสะดีลงดาลาตินเนงอารอนซงเกเปนะเซมตุงเดบันดาวยอเรเ
Penna embassum jetty, tang around some teacher near Gombeck, Captain Luke Leca Mombo, Meva. Tee, Lu embassum, eh? Then embassum thing, so then Margaret D. Gaza, Naja, get a tongue, get a Mombo, she, Mugua, tee, no embassum. Then it tear Gaza, same gay, then it penna, no do number, not so far, then it Nima Casan, they forget, and no do tongue, so long time. Mamba Sony no ni dang, then it dava jima to lo jima la so peke, chargela, non to look a song or tang. Then dava muguba, then lu mo ye song ka, depend on emba something guba ye, then the song to. At the commencement, at the beginning of our mental tranquility meditation, Rinpoche said it's useful to rely on a quiet place. The sense of this is ultimately to be found in isolation. And this isolation, Rinpoche points out, has three points. The isolation or the solitary aspect of the body, speech and mind. We rest the body in a place where there is not a lot of busyness or work to do. We rest the speech, natural and quiet. And we rest the mind without dwelling on uh, past uh, reflections, future projections and occupying ourselves with present busyness. Then so with regards to the essential practice, having completed the preliminaries of resting the body, speech and mind in an isolated or empty place, then the essential practice can be divided into that with and without support. Considering the first, with a support of visualization, then Rinpoche begins by explaining the use of a golden image of the Buddha and quotes a passage from the uh, Samadhi Raja Sutra explaining the qualities of using this kind of support for one's meditation, saying that whoever rests one pointedly using uh, such a meditative support, then at this time they are a bodhisattva. Yana Rangan Daina, Mamma Sorjavati, Mamma Jacob, Law Dawati. What did you want? Mamma Jacob, Mamma Longa Maja Baga, Mammy Gates, Motella, Sam Tinetin, Shenegan Bayon, Song. Other supports consist of a small stone placed in one front of one as a meditative support or a butter lamp uh, concentrating on a flame that is not being moved around by currents of air or wind. Meji, Terry, Musing Dala, Pemi, Gaga, you are a Meti. Then he, ten drive Meji Yona, then he ten drive Naran Gaga, Dati, Tangne, then he dash at a chimbo, Maimba, 
One can also practice the mental tranquility meditation when one is moving about, when one is doing one's work, or walking. Also possible, Rinpoche said, if one is particularly attracted to sweet sounds. Walkman, double digit. Walkman. Walkman, the typical of chung chung Even if one is uh, uh, attracted to listening to Walkman uh, in a good way, then if one can keep one's uh, mindfulness, then this can also uh, serve as an object of meditation. These uh, sounds, listening to music. ဒီပဲနတ်တာတဲ့ဒီရှင်းနေကောင်းပဲတင်းရှိတယ်ဆရောက်ကယူတယ်လားဇောင်းဘောတုံငင်းပါကချက်ပရောမှာတယ်ပ
Rinpoche said, is the same when one practices meditation. In this, looking at it in this way, there's no difference between the activity of body and the action of mind. Tani our practice of mental tranquility or shine inevitably will pass through three different stages or dwellings, as Rinpoche explains. The first dwelling is likened to a waterfall falling off a steep mountain, wherein the meditator experiences waves of discursivity or disturbing emotion uh, washing over him in an, in an uninterrupted uh, succession, succession. So if one may think uh, wrongly that before meditating, one didn't have this experience, now that I try to practice mental tranquility, I'm overwhelmed by this discursiveness and these emotions, then Rinpoche explains that this is not the actual truth, that simply one was unaware of the activities and, and uh, thoughts in one's minds prior to trying to pacify it. Therefore, this is the first uh, sign of or dwelling in the uh, Shine meditation. <laughs> The second and third dwellings are explained by the similes of a flowing river, a swiftly flowing river. Swiftly flowing river. Mm -hmm. A flowing river and ultimately a waveless ocean. So as one uh, experiences this, the middle or second dwelling, mm -hmm. then one's mind flows uh, like a river, which is occasionally disturbed by waves of discursivity and emotionality, but continues flowing nonetheless until ultimately this river as all rivers do, flow into the ocean. And the ocean is likened to the still, uh, the great stillness or the source. And <coughs> this is the last dwelling, uh, a waveless ocean. <laughs> The fruit of the mental tranquility Shine meditation is the means, in addition to uh, resting and pacifying the mind, is the means to the Hlaktong or the penetrating insight. In a normal mind which is disturbed by discriminating uh, thoughts and emotionality, then these obscure the natural state of mind wherein one is unable to recognize it. Having practiced the Shine meditation then, 
one uh, is able to advance or to penetrate with the clock tone and to see ex or experience the natural state of mind. <coughs> Retaining the mindfulness or the Hlok Tong experience throughout all one's activities, whether it be speaking, going, and so on, then retaining this experience in the flow of our life is called the Mahamudra practice. Tanipanata, <laughs> Narukasem <laughs> Then <laughs> Always throughout all of our activities, Rinpoche said the most important fact, the most important thing is the precious bodhicitta to guard a good and loving mind towards all sentient beings without exception. <coughs> Milarepa, in his advice to Gampopa, said that although I have attained the unsurpassable state of Buddha, nevertheless, I always remember my Vajra preceptor and spiritual friends. Even though one understands emptiness uh, to be profound and empty, vast as the sky, Nevertheless, avoid the smallest unwholesome action. And although one's Mahamudra practice is unbroken and continual throughout all of the actions like a uh, stream, nevertheless, one continues to perform the puja rituals and mantra recitations. <coughs> Then <laughs> Kana <laughs> Rinpoche is most pleased with the summer course this year and said it's been an exceptionally uh, good time that Shama Rinpoche, Situ Rinpoche, Akong Rinpoche, Chimi Rinpoche, and Rinpoche himself have given us uh, the chance uh, 
uh, to hear, to reflect upon, uh, and to laugh a lot. And most important uh, among this, with regards to all of this Dharma activity, listening to teachings, having uh, requesting the lamas to explain, most important is that we uh, put this into practice. Of course, we, m we have to work, but nevertheless, when we find a little time, Rinpoche counsels us to meditate or to do some Dharma practice uh, on whichever form we choose, whether it be Shine or Hlaktong or mantra uh, recitation or visualization or ritual performance. And uh, if in the time of our days we can find some time, then this is good. Also in between on our holidays, our periodic breaks in the work, then if we can take a week or a few days and sincerely practice the Dharma, then this will have a very great fruit. <coughs> ตะนี่กามาละชะลาละยินนุบิตงติงเจ๊กยังยอเดตะนี่ตาโลพารินสะมอชะดองลายังเฉติงเฉมโบเจ๊กยังยอเดตะนี่ลามะลิชิคงก
dass diese Stupas bewirken mögen, dass äh, auf der Welt und hier in unseren Gegenden äh, die Wesen Ruhe und Frieden und äh, viel Wohlbefinden haben mögen. And so to the uh, successful completion of these uh, ten stupas, then uh, Rinpoche adds his sincere heartfelt prayers for the welfare, the joy and the happiness of all sentient beings without exception. In the twelfth month, December Rinpoche will return to India and uh, not because of his forgetting us, but simply because of things to do, uh, he won't be seeing us during the years uh, 87 and 88. In 1987, Rinpoche will be completing his uh, gompa in Payula, uh, 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 Nepal, and in 1988, Rinpoche, uh, if he receives the necessary visas, will go to Tibet. So it's not the fact that he doesn't uh, remember us, but he just has a few things to do. After that, Rinpoche will see us again. The most important thing Rinpoche said is that we should practice. And having entered the great and wide path of the Kama Kamsang, then we as Buddhists should not cause unhappiness or uh, uh, differences among our friends, our parents, our relatives, but we should conduct ourselves in an appropriate way that's appropriate to this great and wide path of the Kama Kamsang. So we dedicate this. Now we share the merit. 